project, Aspen has quick tasks such as Photoshop data merge. So taking data from elsewhere, having me only create one PSD and then swapping out all that content. So if you're dealing with a social media campaign, web banners, uh, I had to do this back in the day so much. So this is huge for me. Swapping out all of that data. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use web banners, but I think there's print ad campaigns. Whatever you're doing a lot of where you need to swap out, do those mundane tasks, have Project Aspen do that for you. Uh, again, I'm using this web banner ads PSD. I'll go ahead and open this up and let's take a look at it in Photoshop and here it is. So we have these multiple banners and sure enough, we have off to the side, a main image, a header, a logo, percentage off. I can see what those look like for each banner. I'm saying, hey, you know what? Replace all this placeholder stuff with actual data. I set up the one PSD with all the banners and then I'm just gonna have a data file and the images and swap those out. So that's what I'm gonna do next, click next. For the data file, we could use Google Sheets. You could also use just any sort of CSV file. I like Google Sheets also, cause you could have like somebody else kind of manage that data. So again, I'm gonna spell something wrong. So it's nice that it's all in this lovely CSV file. So we can see it's gonna swap out chairs, couches, different images, logos, uh, the header, the percentage off, call to action. I could use any or all of that data if I want to. I just have to map it. I have to ha say, hey, you know, from that data set, uh, my, your image here, which is a smart object, replace it with the main image in that data set that's gonna point to that image. I still have to give it the image, but it's giving the name of that image, right? So right down here, it's pretty easy, percentage off. Yeah, oh yeah, this is, you set it up once, you format it correctly, and this is huge, whether it's five images or 50 or 500, this is gonna save so much time. I'm just mapping this percentage off, as you can see, on down the line for each one of these banners. Call to actions is gonna be the same, because it's gonna have the same, sort of order now, but the header's gonna change because some are gonna be chairs, some are gonna be couches, right? And again, I just mapped this once for each banner and this is the uh, second to last step. I gave it the data and next up, I just need to make sure it has the images. They're all right here, right? Five or 50, whatever the case may be. As you can see, we'll just go ahead and add those and upload them and let Project Aspen do its magic. Now it's uploading those images. I could wait for the preview if I want. So that would be the next step is just to kind of wait and uh, just check out the preview of the image that it's gonna output. It'll do one and then we'll go from there. And here's the preview. I'd say that looks pretty good. So it does modern chairs this is actually a couch in the PSD. Uh, percentage off is different for this layout, uh, but it's gonna be the same across all of these web banners. So we have the chairs done. And you know what? Go ahead and do all the chairs and all the things. Uh, export out all those files, the 10, the 100 if you want to. Uh, and then you know what? Just send me an email when you're done so I can continue on to the next project. Let my boss think I'm slaving away on this. I could view that files folder if I want to. So we'll start to see those develop right in here and they're already making them. But typically I like to wait for the email. Sure enough, here's the email. We can check out the assets. I just, I love this. I used to make so many banners back in the day and now Project Aspen does all that for me. Uh, let my boss think I did all this work, but it outputs all those images thanks to Photoshop Data Merge. Try it out for yourself today. Thanks for watching. Peace.